This morning, family members of a missing 19 year old are now calling for the FBI to join the investigation to find her. It's now been six days since Mia Morcano was last seen at her apartment complex off University Boulevard. Family and friends searched again yesterday with no new leads, but they say they will not give up. Mark Lehman is live at the complex in Orange County right now, and the sheriff, Mark, spoke with News 6 yesterday. What is he saying about where things stand? Well, he's not releasing details on the investigation, but he says deputies are working tirelessly to find Mia Marcano. This coming as family and friends of the 19 year old are continuing to hope for her safe return. I'm calling on all research resources at this point, the FBI. We need you. The aunt of missing 19 year old Mia Marcano calling for additional help as another day of searching turned up empty. We need you to look at everything, all substantial evidence that was provided so far. Sky 6 capturing search crews near the complex where Marcano was last seen September 24th. Sheriff John Mina speaking exclusively with News 6 on the investigation. We're asking anyone with any type of information, either about her or about uh, you know, the suspect that she had been with who is now dead, um, to come forward with that information. Investigators searching for answers after the death of 27-year-old Armando Caballero. They say he worked as a maintenance worker at the Arden Villa's apartments and used a master key fob to gain entry into Mia's apartment. Because he is dead, uh, we're not able to get certain answers from him, um, but we will always uh, keep hope up uh, that Mia is alive and out there, and we will continue to search for her until we find her. Meanwhile, divers were also spotted in Lake Monroe on Wednesday. We asked Seminole County deputies if this was connected to the search for Mia. They only referred us back to the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Now, following Mia's disappearance, a representative from the Arden Villas Apartments uh, released a statement saying the complex has enhanced safety protocols, which includes positioning a guard at the front gate. Now, residents here also say they received notice that deputies will be searching occupied garages and storage units today. We will keep you updated with those search efforts this morning. For now, reporting live in Orange County, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6. Thank you, Mark. And deputies say any information, even if it seems small, could end up being a key in this investigation. If you know something that may have happened, call the Orange County Sheriff's Office at 407-836-HELP.